Hey guys, it's Yuval here and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I want to show you guys a few creative lighting setups that you can use for your music videos, fashion shoots, or even commercials. But before we jump in, I just want to let you guys know that we have a pretty cool giveaway waiting for you at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around, but now let's jump in. So for this tutorial, we're shooting in a studio, but of course these lighting techniques can be applied in any location or any scenario that you have, and in many different ways. The main piece of gear we're going to use is the Aperture Spotlight. You could also use a Lico light, which is fairly popular. And the main thing we're going to get is a very directional and easy to control light beam. That's going to allow us to create some very cool and creative uh, effects with the light, which is something that is harder to do with just a normal light since you just don't have the same control. And the other light we're going to use is an RGB tube from Nanlight. In this first example, we're starting off simple with just this beautiful circle of light and our model against a dark background. This is what the spotlight mount gives you right off the bat. You can also play around with the focus of the beam to make the edges of it softer or harder, as well as move the light closer or farther away to control the size of the circle. Another thing we can do is play with the color of the light by either adjusting our light source color temperature or by using colored gels. In this example, I decided to set my light to a cooler temperature. For all of these shots, I'm using a quarter promise filter to help soften up the skin of my model and just give the highlights um, that kind of glow since we are using a very directional and hard source of light. I think even a more extreme filter would have looked great for something like a music video. To make things a little more interesting, we introduced the Nanlite RGB tubes into the scene just to add another source of light and play around with color contrast. We changed the main light's color temperature to a more golden orange color and set the RGB tube to blue. Then we tried another variation with a cooler key light and red on the RGB tube. The next thing we did was cut down the light to only have a thin line going across our model's eye line. We gelled the spotlight with a blue gel and kept the RGB tube red. Creating these kind of light shafts could be used for things like replicating the sun coming through a door crack or for a million other scenarios, the possibilities are really endless. Another really cool thing we can do with the spotlight mount or with a Lico is use gobos. And gobos are essentially a cutout circle with um, different shapes and textures that you can put in front of the light to have it project the shape you want. And of course we can make it out of focus or have harder edges to achieve our desired effect. This gobo for example could be used to maybe replicate sunlight going through tree branches and coming into a room or you could completely sell the look of a window with blinds on a makeshift set or maybe a location that doesn't have windows. And of course it can be used to just add texture and depth to something like this, which can maybe be a scene in a music video or a commercial. So I hope this video helps inspire you and maybe spark some creative ideas for your next project. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more filmmaking videos. And for this video's giveaway, three of you guys could win three Artlist t-shirts. All you have to do is let us know down in the comments below what video would you like for us to make next. Here is the winner from our last giveaway. Congratulations to you and until the next time, stay creative.